In this video, we'll talk about oncogenic microbes and this is a USMLE step one high yield video. Stay tuned till the end. So virus can cause cancer. This was known by the discovery of Piton Rouse who discovered the Rouse sarcoma virus, which was a retrovirus known to cause cancer. Now this was the first virus to be known which can possibly cause sarcoma. From that time, there are multiple viruses which are now known to cause cancer. We are going to review all of them with the help of animations. And biology is always fun when you learn with animation. First, we are going to talk about Epstein-Barr virus, a known causative agent for Barkitt's lymphoma. Barkitt lymphoma has overproliferation of EBV infected B cell. We have to understand why these B cells are overproliferated. But EVB was previously known in context of mononucleosis in young adults. So it was later found to be associated with Burkitt's lymphoma and its recognition of one of the first viruses which can cause malignancy. So it's an oncovirus. EVB is associated with several other neoplastic disease as well. It can be transmitted with saliva or oropharynx. So what EVB does? So in, in case of Burkitt's lymphoma, what really happens is the semic gene which is present in the chromosome 8 gets translocated into the chromosome 14 due to this faulty translocation which is induced by uh, this virus lead to overproduction of these semic proteins. Semic is a cell cycle regulator. That means it lead to growth, survival and proliferation. And that's what happens in the B cells. They overproliferate and cause this cancer. Next, we talk about human papilloma virus. HPV is known to be associated with cervical cancer, vulvar cancer, vaginal cancer, penile cancer, anal and oropharyngeal cancer. So HPV is a sexually transmitted virus and specially found in sexually active females. This virus has specific viral proteins such as E7 and E6. These viral proteins are known to suppress tumor suppressor proteins such as P53 and PRB. In normal scenario, these proteins prevent uh, uncontrolled division and growth. But when these particular proteins are inhibited, the cell cycle goes haywire and cell cycle resumes abruptly, leading to cancer development. Now next talk about hepatitis B virus and hepatitis C virus. Both of them are associated with carcinoma. But let's see how. So the hepatitis virus attached with the cell gets inserted. We are talking about a hepatitis B virus which, which can integrate its genome into the host genome. And this integration lead to activation of several oncogenes and repression of many tumor suppressor genes. The consequence of that is uncontrolled growth and division leading to cancer. So several viral proteins that are found in hepatitis V virus such as HBX and in hepatitis C virus it is NS5A, NS3 can actually prevent tumor suppressor genes such as p53 and in hepatitis c virus it can lead to severe ROS production which can ultimately lead to chromosomal instability associated with cancer next we talk about htlv1 htlv1 is a human retrovirus and it infects cd4 positive t lymphocytes and lead to uncontrolled growth of the t lymphocytes so this HTLV1 is associated with adult T cell leukemia and lymphoma. So it has several proteins such as tax proteins and HBZ protein which are associated with dysregulation of many cell signaling pathway that regulates division and survival. And as a result of these dysregulated pathways there is a development of the cancer or lymphoma. So lymphoma is most common, commonly associated with HTLV1. Next we talk about Helicobacter pylori or H. pylori. H. pylori is not a virus but it's a bacteria. H. pylori gets attached with the um, gastric epithelial cells and ultimately forms uh, basically ammonia from urea and it neutralizes the acidity in the stomach. 
it has specific adhesion proteins that allow it to be attached to the host cells and it secretes proteins like vac a and cag a and these are kind of like cytotoxins and this is considered to be associated with the pathogenicity of the bacterium now these particular proteins work like adhesins they also alter the cell signaling pathway and lead to inflammatory cytokine production so this chronic inflammation that can happen due to the prolonged presence of h pylori in the stomach can severely damage the stomach lining and ultimately it lead to formation of gastric carcinoma so there is a stage of progression but overall persisting infection lead to chronic gastritis leading to dna damage and proliferation which ultimately lead to gastric adenocarcinoma then we talk about not a virus not a bacteria but a different kind of organism which which is a liver fluke which is known to be associated with cholangiocarcinoma that means carcinoma of the bile duct so these uh, parasites actually f- uh, secrete several metabolites which lead to oxidative damage of the dna aberrant activation of signaling pathways like map kinase and nf kappa b which are well known to inhibit apoptosis and regulate growth signaling so all this regulation of these pathways ultimately lead to cholangiocarcinoma and uh, the so basically hyperinflammation and unregulated inflammation is the key mechanism underlying this so i hope you get a quick overview just to review the entire thing epstein barr virus or evv is associated with burkitt's lymphoma hodgkin's lymphoma sometimes and nasopharyngeal carcinoma and primary cns lymphoma hepatitis b and c virus are obviously associated with hepatocellular carcinoma and we looked at how human herpes virus 8 or hhv8 is associated with kaposi's sarcoma human papilloma virus hpv types 16 and 18 are associated with cervical carcinoma penile carcinoma and head neck cancers helicobacter pylori which is a bacteria is associated with gastric adenocarcinoma and rarely malt lymphoma human t cell leukemia virus or htlv is associated with adult t cell lim- leukemia or lymphoma liver fluke is associated with cholangiocarcinoma that means carcinoma of the bile duct so i hope this video was informative and high yield so if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe and please tell your friends about our channel we need your support to grow more and reach to broader audience please share it with your friends thank you